This mod named Halo 3 ODST Sorta Balance is created by Bruinator, and it aims to improve the Covenant engagements in Halo 3 ODST by not making the Brutes, in particular, feel so bullet spongy. I wanted to try this mod out on Heroic difficulty, as Heroic is what Bungie claims to be the way Halo is meant to be played. This mod in particular strengthens the weapon damage no matter who is wielding the weapon, you the player, friendlies, or foes. You can take the fact that I made a video about this, so I must really enjoy this mod. And I do. How refreshing this mod is for Halo 3 ODST. A great example of this strength and weapon damage is seen here with the assault rifle. I go up against this brute on heroic difficulty with a full magazine of 32 rounds. And right here is the kill shot with 12 rounds remaining with the same magazine I started with. This type of weapon power is more satisfying to me than the vanilla version that you see right here. This is just tedious. On heroic difficulty for the vanilla version, I unloaded an entire magazine into the brute and reloaded a full new magazine with the final round being the last shot for the brute's demise. Sure, they weren't all headshots, but with a Halo assault rifle, they shouldn't have to be. With this modified version that you see right here, there is a lot more tenacity and flow to the combat while you are still a vulnerable orbital drop shock trooper. You are not the Master Chief. It seems to me that Bungie wanted you to feel weaker than the Master Chief in Halo 3 ODST. But instead of incorporating different vicious Covenant animations, and perhaps embellishing Covenant Jackal's aggressive nature and how tall they actually are to human characters, the weapons seem to have been the only things tweaked in order for you to feel inferior. This inherently feels as if the Covenant are just absorbing your bullets, especially the Brutes. Therefore, this slows down the combat, and makes the combat, to me, just feel so dull. I've discussed before how Halo Combat Evolved feels much more visceral when engaging with enemies on foot than all of the other Halos because of the evasive and fight for survival animations in Halo Combat Evolved. But here, it's just non-apparent. But if we boost the weapon damage... Oh yeah, now we're talking. We can have the aggressive heroic and legendary AI and combine it with higher weapon damage for both me and my enemies. And this is a much better balance. This makes me want to pick up any weapon I come across because I know it'll actually be effective in its own way. I can play aggressive when I feel confident in a scenario, but I am still mindful of my cover available to me and perhaps will have to methodically retrograde from time to time. The boost in weapon damage gives me more confidence for the weapons I have, and I believe it brings out the assault rifle in particular, its own true effective distance in this mod. This jackal that's firing at me with the Covenant Carbine is pretty far away, but I still eliminated the jackal with the assault rifle. I wouldn't bother using the assault rifle in that scenario in the vanilla version of Halo 3 ODST. The silenced SMG in this mod has double the amount of damage and you can carry more ammunition for it, though you will find that the silenced SMG is weaker than the assault rifle, which makes sense given the difference in caliber. Although the silenced SMG in this mod is more useful and it doesn't feel like your enemies are eating a bullet sandwich with ease. I did not see it in the mod's change log, but I do believe you move a bit faster when you pick up the turret than you do when you're in the vanilla version of Halo 3 ODST. The turret has not undergone a damage boost, and I think that was the right call, so a player just can't get by a scenario too easily with the turret. Switching the difficulty to legendary while the mod is installed will evoke that lone wolf fight for survival feeling that is necessary for Halo 3 ODST. You can still bypass groups of Covenant in the campaign in those ominous nighttime environment levels when you play as the Rookie, and the mod will still work in Firefight as the map files are the same for campaign and Firefight. I will note that the sweet spot however for this mod is still heroic difficulty. I did find myself getting killed every so often just to be excited to try again. Admittedly, I don't feel that desire to retry in the vanilla version of Halo 3 ODST. I've played Halo 3 ODST for well over a decade, not in one sitting, but to me, this mod is a very welcomed change. I enjoyed it so much, 
and I know you will too. To download this mod is very simple. No matter if you have the Steam version or the Windows version of Halo 3 ODST for Halo the Master Chief Collection, go to Nexus Mods, and under the Games category, you can search for Halo. Click on Halo the Master Chief Collection. There are so many other mods that will catch your attention, but as of now, October 2nd of 2020, if you go to the second page on the Latest Mods tab, you will see the Halo 3 ODST Sorta Balance mod created by Bruinator. Clicking on it, you will be greeted with the change log for all of the weapons that have been modified and the map files that you will be replacing are listed below. There are also directions on how to install the mod on Steam right above the listed map files. A misconception is that the Windows version is hard to play mods on, but all you need to do is download the mod files on the Nexus website by clicking Manual Download. Ensure you have a file manager application. I myself use the 7-zip file manager application. You can just download it from Google. Once you've downloaded the files, that should only take a couple minutes, if not seconds, for this mod, then go to where Halo the Master Chief Collection is installed on your PC. Select the folder Program Files, then Modifiable Window Apps, which will bring up Halo MCC. Select Halo 3 ODST, and at this point create a new folder to back up the vanilla maps. Always back up your game files when modding a game. Then open up your maps folder. Copy the existing maps that you will be replacing and paste them into your backup maps folder. You can always reference the file names in your file manager application of the mod that you had just downloaded to know which ones you will be replacing. Once you've backed up your maps, go ahead and drag or extract the modded files to your maps folder. It'll ask if you want to replace the maps. We've already backed them up, so select yes. Start the anti-cheat disabled version of Halo the Master Chief Collection and start enjoying the new and improved version of Halo 3 ODST. This has been Beelzebub's Buns channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.